less amount on the bar. And then this is a bigger one, so it will give more amount on the bar, so it's pretty easy. And mods, uh, like I'll show my character that has mods. So I have Radial Javelin, which is press forward to win. And then I have 80% extra shield and health. And then I also have Slash Dash. You can also um, equip a Orkin Catalyst to your gun or to your Warframe itself. This instantly doubles its mod capacity. I'm putting on a radial blind so that I can show it off okay. a little bit. Even though also, I don't really use it. On a side note, for whatever reason, if you put an Orkin Catalyst on something, for some reason it's called potatoing it. I don't know why. Hmm. That's just what the interwebs refer to. And then here's to. like some pistols that you can get, and then here's the guns, that two-handed guns you can get. And you obtain sorry, like weapons. You obtain more slots to put more um, items on by leveling up your thing, and that is through use. Yeah, and then the market uh, it's used for since this is a free-to-play game, it has microtransactions, so you have to like for some things you have to either buy the blueprints or just buy with normal credits from the game. Now, s now stop here for a second. This is something I want to mention, with the exception of like random mod packs that don't include like any mods you can't get otherwise and like affinity which is weapon level stuff and credit boosters yeah there is nothing other than colors for whatever reason I don't know why that you can get through the uh, market that you can't using actual in-game cash now this is Every the f okay continue quick Everything in everything that is possible use other than cosmetic stuff can be obtained in game. Yeah, like right here is uh, the Rhino chassis and the Rhino systems, and now I need the Rhino helping helping the Rhino helmet so that I can uh, make the Rhino blueprints, which will build the Rhino Warframe, which then I can use him afterwards. So but I also I need a lot of Rubidoux. Yeah. So I know the the Rhino Warframe is not a starter Warframe. It is one you get later from the second boss, who's on Venus, which we might eventually show you. Probably. And he is this big stompy guy. So just it's in case kind you're of a wondering. Jerk. Okay. No, the Rhino himself. Oh. The Rhino. The Rhino awesome. Warframe is like one of the two tanks that currently exist in the game. And uh, my rank is currently rank one. You're like, oh. You you really suck at this game if you're only rank one. It is kind of hard to rank up on this game, cause you have to I've, level. I've up. played 63 hours. I'm level three. Yeah. However, my Warframe is level 30. My shotgun is level 30. My pistol 17 and my sword 17. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Next, and over here, uh, this is artifacts that you can either get from daily rewards or uh, finding them, right? You, you find them through what are called alert missions. These are missions that pop up in real time and are only available for so long. Sometimes, in the reward section, you'll see one that has a question mark. That means it gets you a random item, obviously. Which can be really good rewards. Pro tip, if something has a question mark, do it. Do it. Or if a, uh, an alert mission just has credits and it's a lot of credits for you, then just mm. do it anyways. Like, the quote-unquote best weapons in the entire game have to be earned through um, alert missions. You can also just get blueprints to other guns. Like, I got a blueprint to a flaming sword from a alert mission. So, yeah. just, you do want to do them. They're, they're very helpful. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm trying to equip some mods to my bow, but I can only equip one at the moment. Uh -huh. But it's ammo drum, so I have more ammo, which is good. Alright, well, we should probably do another mission, like the boss mission. Or do you want to showcase the infested and have another, have like a separate episode for the boss? Uh, sure. Yeah, how this is how much planning we put in. Yeah. <laughs> I have to equip my shotgun, because the bow doesn't really do good against infested. Um, 
They're, they're so low level, it won't matter, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna use my bow then. Alright, I'm gonna pack the... I'll pack the stern. No, I'll pack the gorgon still. Okay. We're gonna do face the infested, which is kind of like the flood from Halo, but not quite. I also brought my dual blades, which you'll get to see. There's a lot of variation in the melee weapons. And you have we got... mentioned this game is free? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> there is... are... You got swords, like Sam over here's got. You got dual swords, you got dual daggers, you got staffs. You've got mace... You've got electrically amplified staffs that are essentially maces. You got... Should... We should also explain that uh, there's only two maps in the game, but uh, the map is the two maps are like really big, so they take you through different paths through the entire map to find stuff. Okay, think of just cause two map, and then there's two of those. That's essentially what you're looking at. One is indoors, one is outdoors. Here, look at me, so we can show some variation in melee weapons. This is the dual ether blades, right? Yep. They're Maybe not as strong. Some something. I can't pick it up. Oh, ferrets. Yeah, god dang. Oh, hey, uh, stellar time to show off parkour. Off we go. Do, 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 whoop, whoop. Parkour. You'd be amazed at how long that had was. It takes some getting used to that, honestly, but yeah. once you do, you'll be a pro. And there's also a sliding mechanic, which is pretty awesome. It's kind of fun. Uh, we can show them off some more fun things, like there's a... Like if you do a jump and then... Oh, no, crouch. it bounced off the wall. Run, jump, and crouch. That's a cool one. Whee. Or if you're sliding and you press space, then you'll do a flip, but I kind of failed there. There. Ah, you can stealth attack chargers. Since when? Since you could stealth attack people. I didn't know you could do it to chargers. So you, like, jump on their back and stab them in the back of the head. Jeez. Slice. Oh, more parkouring. Oops. I think this is the most I've had to parkour in one map. <laughs> You don't have to do it, but you can, speaking of which, you can gain some serious advantages if you do. Ah, no, I was stuck. You got it over there? I got stuck, so. Okay. There we go. I think we have like to turn here, I'll show you some more parkour. In a minute. Look at the wall. See that wall? Da -da 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 -da. And you can shoot while doing this thing. Which is pretty awesome. You can pretty much shoot while doing anything. Yeah. Except for yeah. hacking. Going on back. Okay, cool. And in our clan, no one is allowed to use zip lines unless it's like you considered have gay. To. <laughs> Don't ask why, it just is. Alright, we're good. Boom. Oh, oh, he teleported. Yeah, there's a bit of lag going on. Also. Also, what? The game looks really good. For a but you can run it pretty smoothly, so yeah. don't be worried about that. I'm getting a little bit of frames just because I'm recording and playing at the same time, so. Mm. Just showing off the map a little bit. You usually have to go into a lot of different places for each mission. Would you like to explain some of the game types or different kind of game sure. mechanic thingies? The, yeah, game bag, so called. This is called Sabotage. Which um, is only on this map, I think, right? No, there's on a lot of maps. I've played more than one. No. Nope, yeah, I we have to go through the giant cluster of chargers, speaky dubs, which are kind of like tweaking out. <laughs> ah. We're all dead. Hold on a second. Uh, my screen, I messed up my recording, oh my gosh. I actually moved the screen over, so now it's only recording part of it. In the next part, it'll be better. Did you fix it? Uh, no. Because I can't. I think it's. Would be that. Push escape and then try and move it. There we go. It's you just that it? every time I hit Q, it actually moves the mouse. Or, like, it actually pops up with the real mouse. Oh, yeah. Because for you, that's like your gear bonus. Yeah. 
completely rebindable keys, if that's your saying. 